Let's talk about carbohydrates, probably the most misunderstood of the macronutrients. The question we get most often is, are all carbs equal? A can of soda, broccoli, donuts. And the truth is carbohydrates are simply the nutritional category for sugars. Where the debate comes up is when carbohydrates are either simple or complex. And I'm gonna take you through this and dumb it down, mostly because I don't care about the science. I just like to understand what can I eat? Carbohydrates are created by monosaccharides. That's the most simple thing you need to know. Monosaccharides form together. If you have two, they're disaccharides. Two or less are considered simple. When we get into complex, we have when there's three to 10, and those are oligosaccharides, or we have 10 or more, and those are polysaccharides. Now, the more we have, the more time and the more complex it is for your body to digest. So just understand that simple ones break down easily. The more complex, meaning the more of those monosaccharides that are formed together, the more complex and the longer digestion takes. Now, the other thing to take into account with that is how those monosaccharides, those most simple forms of sugar, are linked together. So when you have those disaccharides, oligosaccharides, and polysaccharides, how they're linked together is important because that's whether they are starch or fiber. Big buzzwords, right? Starchy foods versus fibrous foods. And we typically start to consider starchy foods as less healthy and fibrous foods as more healthy. Now, again, they're all just monosaccharides linked together. At the end of the day, that's all they are. Ones that are broken down more easily fi are starchy foods, are linked together by what's called alpha linkages. So those are broken down more easily, separated apart. And because of that, they might spike your sugar. They have a higher GI. Fibrous foods, things like broccoli and vegetables, are linked together by beta bonds. They are harder to break apart. They take longer to digest. That's why they're sometimes considered more healthy. So those have a lower GI. They don't raise your sugar level as quickly in your blood. So we have starchy foods broken down easily, fibrous take a little bit longer. Now, we can start to dive into insulin and talk about spiking your insulin and insulin sensitivity and insulin resistance, but just understand this. The more carbohydrates you take in, the more grams of carbs you take in, regardless of where they're from, ultimately you're going to spike your insulin. Spiking your insulin too much, too often, too soon is what's going to lead to things like metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome is diabetes, high blood pressure, upper body obesity, ultimately death. So just understand this, lots of words, but at the end of the day, carbs are carbs. Sugar is sugar. The way in which we break them down, the speed in which we break them down, that's all very important. But if you're eating a specific number of grams of carbs, it's all good. So whether it's coming from broccoli, donuts, or soda, understand eating the right amount of carbohydrates for your body is what is key. Flexible eating will teach you how to do that.